what's up guys welcome back so i am super excited about today because i'm making one of my favorite foods of all time making chicken and waffles yes so i'm just your typical millennial who loves uh avocado toast and brunch foods and uh chicken and waffles is just one of those quintessential brunch foods that almost any respectable brunch place will have uh, if you've never had it first of all what uh, but basically uh, chicken waffles is just like a Belgian waffle um, with a piece of fried chicken on it. Pretty simple. Um, I don't know why it's so good, but it just is. Probably just because like waffles kind of sweet and chicken's kind of salty, maybe. I don't really know. Uh, so I've never actually made fried chicken before, right? I've never, I don't know why. Uh, and I've never actually made a homemade waffle before, right? What am I doing in my life? Uh, but, so I'm excited to try this with you guys for the first time. So I found the fried chicken recipe from tasty.com. Um, it's actually for a fried chicken sandwich, but it's, I mean, chicken's chicken, right? Um, and then the waffle recipe I found from the salty marshmallow.com. It's a funny name, right? Uh, so now, of course I will link those down below, um, in the description box so you guys can take a look at them also. Um, so. Let's go over the ingredients and we will get started. All right, this is for the waffle and there's a ton of waffle recipes out there, but this is one that I found that has really good uh, reviews and a ton of reviews. So I'm gonna go with this one, uh, but you can make whatever you want. Um, but so the waffle recipe that I found, it's going to be uh, one cup, about one cup of flour, um, about half a tablespoon of baking powder, one and a half tablespoons of sugar, about a quarter teaspoon of salt, uh, about half a teaspoon of cinnamon, one large egg. Um, now in the recipe, it does want it to like to separate it and to fluff the egg white and then mix it all in, but I'm just gonna put it all together. Um, it should be fine. Um, and then a quarter tea or a quarter cup of oil, one cup of milk. I'm using whole milk today, and then half a teaspoon of vanilla. So that's it for the waffle. And now I'm gonna go over the ingredients for the fried chicken. All right, now for the chicken, you have two parts. You have the marinade and then you have the actual batter. So for the marinade, you're gonna need, um, first you're gonna need four boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Um, you can use breasts if you want. It's a little healthier, but I mean, it's fried chicken. Who are you really kidding, right? Um, if you're gonna go in healthy, just go all the way. So chicken thighs just have a lot more flavor, so I would go with those. So uh, four boneless, skinless chicken thighs, and then you're gonna need one cup of buttermilk. Um, if you don't have buttermilk, you can do a cup of regular whole milk and then do two tablespoons of either lemon juice or uh, vinegar and just let it sit for about half an hour and then it turns into buttermilk. Um, just that acid kind of does that to it. So that's what I did. So I have one cup of buttermilk and then you need um, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of pepper, and then half a teaspoon or a quarter teaspoon of cayenne. So that's the marinade. And then for the actual batter, you're gonna need one cup of all-purpose flour, um, half a tablespoon of salt, half or one teaspoon of pepper, one teaspoon of cayenne, um, half a tablespoon of garlic powder, and then just oil to fry. Um, so I'm gonna make the marinade first, stick that in the refrigerator for about an hour or so. You can do it overnight also. I'm just gonna do it for like for an hour. Um, and then we will get started on that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the marinade. So I'm gonna put the buttermilk in here. Ooh, nice. And then I'm gonna do my quarter teaspoon of cayenne, then half a teaspoon of black pepper, and then half a teaspoon of the salt. So I'm gonna mix all that up. All right, that's looking pretty good. Now I'm just going to add my chicken in here. I always hate the way that raw chicken feels. It feels like, I don't know, like raw flesh, which I guess technically it is, but you know. All right, I've got all four pieces in here. So I'm just gonna throw this in the fridge for about an hour, and then it'll be time to get the batter prepared. All right, so my chicken was in the fridge for about an hour and a half or so. So I'm gonna go ahead and make the breading now. So I got my cup of flour. And I'll get my half a tablespoon of salt, and then one teaspoon of cayenne. And you can make it as spicy as you want just by adding more cayenne or less cayenne if you want it less spicy. 
Um, and then one teaspoon of pepper. And then I'm gonna do the half a tablespoon of garlic powder. All right, once you got all those things in there, you can go ahead and just mix it on up. All right, so that's looking pretty well mixed. Um, and you can add whatever spices you want. This is just what's in this recipe. Um, so right now I'm gonna go ahead and take the chicken out of this bowl here with some tongs and throw it in the, uh, the flour mixture here. All right, got all the chicken in here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just mix this up in the flour until everything is coated with the flour and it's ready to fry. All right, so my oil has been over here just kind of preheating while I was getting the chicken ready. And uh, let me just check if it's done. I'm just throw some flour in there. Ooh, once it sizzles like that, you know it's good to go. So let me go ahead and get my chicken and place them in the uh, in the oil one at a time. You don't want to throw them in there like you're playing basketball because you're gonna get it, you know, burns all over yourself. So I'm just gonna place them in there with some tongs. Watch it go. Oh boy. Now you just want to uh, to fry them for about seven minutes or so, or until the inside temperature is about one sixty-five. I'm gonna put all four pieces in here. All right, see what happens when it when it's done. All right, so the chicken is out of the oil. I have it on this cooling rack so it can crisp up a little bit and cool down some. Um, I've checked the internal temperature. They are at 165, 170, so they are perfect. So let me go ahead and get these waffles done and we will put it all together. I am so pumped. All right, now it's time for me to make my waffle. So in this bowl, I got my dry ingredients, my flour, baking powder, uh, sugar, salt, cinnamon, um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and mix those guys up. All right, that's looking pretty good. So now over here I got my wet ingredients. So I got my uh, egg, oil, milk, vanilla extract. I'm gonna mix those guys and then pour it into the, uh, the dry mixture. All right, that's looking pretty good. So let me go ahead and just pour it in here and then get my whisk out. And you can use a hand mixer if you want, but I just feel like using a whisk today. And boom, here we go. All right, so this is looking pretty nice. So let me go ahead and get a ladle so I can put it into my waffle maker. All right, so I got my waffle batter here and a ladle. And hopefully this works out because I've never done this before. Got my waffle maker. Oh man, okay, here we go. Whew. Nice. And then I guess we just kind of shut this thing and turn it over probably. Let's see what happens. Nice. All right, so I guess we wait for a few minutes and see what happens. All right, it has stopped steaming, which I read is when it's done. So I'm gonna turn this guy back over and do the reveal. Dun, 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 dun. Whoa, where is it at? Oh. On top, ooh, ooh. Oh, I forgot to do nonstick spray. Yikes! Oh, it looks good though. Oh baby, yes. <laughs> oh man, I'm so ready to plate this and get this thing in my mouth. Guys, look at this. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to eat this. It looks so good. I put that mint leaf on there because, you know, do it for the gram. I'm not going to actually eat it, but it looks good on there. So I uh, did it for a picture, but uh, I'm so excited to eat this. Oh man, here we go. Guys, <laughs> this looks so freaking good. I'm so excited. Uh, so I went ahead and made a, uh, like a syrup sriracha mixture. Um, just two parts syrup to one part sriracha. Um, Cause I like a little spicy, uh, spicy syrup. So I'm going to dip a piece of this into the syrup and take a bite and oh man, a brovecho. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Listen, <laughs> that's crazy. That's, that's ridiculous. Oh. That honey sriracha syrup, or that uh, that sriracha syrup is, is money on these. Um, 
seriously, that chicken is delicious. It's, I don't even, I can't even, I can't even handle this. This is, I can't talk right now. Oh man, seriously, go, go make these. It's a, it's kind of a lot of work, but I mean, we've got nothing but time right now, right? So this is a great like weekend type of meal. Um, Honestly, it's so good. I'm eating it for dinner tonight. So uh, breakfast for dinner, always good. So again, I will link the recipe for the chicken and for the waffle in the description box below. And I'll also uh, put a link for the homemade buttermilk um, so you guys can see that too. Um, man, again, if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, feel free to put those in the comment box. Um, be sure to like, subscribe, all that jazz. And I will see you guys next time. All right, bye.